That's our, about two centimeters of magnesium ribbon. I'm going to burn it in the Bunsen burner and look for any changes. So magnesium burns with a wide flame. And we'll see how it changes. So you can clearly see there's some condensation on the test tube. So here's a 250 milliliter on my flask. It's clean and dry. The hot plate is not on. The top it has room temperature. So I placed it on top and I have a splint. I'm going to burn it in the burner and place it inside the Onma flask. So we're going to see how long it takes for the splint to burn off. Two fifty milliliter on my flask. Place it on the balance, tear it, and weigh about 2 grams of bicarbonate, which is baking soda. So we weighed 2.118 grams of baking soda. I'm going to turn on the heat. We do see moisture on the inner wall of the unmatte flask. Now it's a good time to put our splint inside. It's barely burned for a second. So for part C, I have three test tubes. The first one, I'm going to add 20 drops of silver nitrate. Second test tube, I'm going to add 20 drops of dilute hydrochloric acid. The third test tube, I'm going to add 20 drops of DI water. So to the first test tube, I'm going to add a small piece of copper. The second test tube, I'm going to add a small piece of Magnesium. And the third test tube, I'm going to add a tiny piece of calcium metal. You see gas evolving, that's hydrogen gas. You see the white precipitate, which is calcium hydroxide. I'm going to add a couple drops of indicator phenolphthalein and you can see it turns it pink which tells you it's basic and calcium hydroxide is being formed. So for part D, I have three test tubes. The first one I'm going to add 10 drops of silver nitrate. The second test tube I'm going to add 10 drops of copper nitrate. The third test tube, I'm going to add 10 drops of aluminum nitrate. To all these three test tubes, I'm going to add a few drops of potassium carbonate. And all three solutions have precipitate. So I'm disposing all the metal solution into a beaker and then at the end, these metal solution will go into a labeled waste bottle in the hood. Now the test tube could be rinsed. Now these test tube could be rinsed in the sink and will be ready for use for the next reaction. So I have three test tubes. The first one I will be adding 10 drops 
of silver nitrate. Second test tube I am adding 10 drops of copper nitrate. Third test tube I am adding 10 drops of aluminum nitrate. To each of these test tube I am adding a few drops of sodium phosphate. All three test tube have precipitate. Record the observation. At three test tube I am going to add 10 drops of nitric acid on the first one. 10 drops of sulfuric acid in the second one and 10 drops of phosphoric acid in the third one. I am going to add 1 drop of phenolphthalein which, which is an acid base indicator. So I am going to add 1 drop on each test, 1 drop in each test. Now I am going to add sodium hydroxide drop wise until there is a permanent color change. So it is an acid base neutralization reaction. So I added two drops, I will give it a mix and it disappears. So I am going to add another drop, it still disappears. So I will add a couple more drops and that is a neutralization reaction. The color change will not be permanent until the neutralization point is passed. Okay. So I have a penny cut into two pieces. We are going to look at the mint date. So the mint date is 2015. I am going to use one of these pieces. I will tear the balance and then put my piece of penny in the weighing pan. We will let the coin react for a while and So I let this react for about 5 hours and you still see some gas bubbles coming which is hydrogen gas. But we are going to go ahead and take it out, clean it, dry it and get the mass. I am going to take out the coin with a tongue or tweezer whatever is available. And I am going to rinse it with some DI water. from the wash bottle. So now it's safe to hold because it's already rinsed out. I'm going to rinse it with some acetone. So I'm gently going to dab it dry. So my coin looks dry, I am going to go ahead and weigh it out. I am going to tear the weigh boat, place the penny. So that is the mass, 